Don't take these chance interactions as just fillers. This is this is the main story. You're the main character. There ain't no fillers. This ain't the this ain't Naruto episode 133 out of 400 before Shippuden. Like go out there and make intentional actions. Nani? Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, how you doing? This is the Identity Booth. My name is Hero. It's been a while. Um, the commitment that I've made to this channel for the year was um, one video a month. Um, and I had other videos that I could have posted, but they weren't really content relevant. I think they are good videos to hold off on until I get to Afro Tech season. Or like promoting season again which will probably be like november october so that leaves me with this like a monthly update on how things are going um i'm fine as you can tell new hair who's this um i really wish i had something to tell you guys but the truth is you just gotta be there <laughs> you just gotta be there um and part of being there is like living that experience. I told myself this year, against other years especially, um, I'm going to do less. And with this whole idea of doing less, I'm here doing a lot more. Um, I'm blessed to have a healthy family and healthy friend set. I don't know all my friends' problems, but um, I'm happy to hear that in passing things are doing all right. So what are the big things that are going on with me right now? Well, if you must know, the me personally, um, from a stance of just like mental health and everything, fine, healthy, cool, um, social life, going on a few dates, <laughs> clap it up for a few dates, going on a few dates, but um, I think above all, from a stance of like work, work is great, I've got to... I got a few things implemented and uh, stability and a level of concern. I was making an announcement on our Friday, Friday stand-up calls and people were losing their shit because they thought I was about to tell them I'm putting in my two-week notice. But in reality, I was just going to wait to get feedback from this email so I could give the team an update, an appropriate update. And, you know, when people's sphincters start clutching, when you start talking about you're not happy or something like that, it's a sign that you're probably doing really good work. So work is fine. Um, from a stance of like, um, since I'm not doing this, I'm actually going to, I'm actually on the other platform. So if you're curious to know, um, I'm on Twitch, something, sleep, dot black, something TV. It, it's right there. Like you'll, you'll see. Um, on Twitch with Coding with Strangers, that channel has literally just blown up when I think we were last talked, there were like 300, 600 maybe followers. We ballooned now to 1,400, you know, and I'm actually getting cut a check. I actually had to file taxes for it this past year. So we're actually getting a cut checked and it's making me think about other things. I have decided to go to TwitchCon this year. It's going to be in Vegas. So I'm going to be booking my room for that. Um... And like, it's just something that I want to do is something I, like I said, I'm going to go to a lot of these conventions and, and, and be part of that community, find my community. Um, I, I, that's a, that's a goal of mine this year is to go out and find my community, go be by my community. Like, I feel like I live very isolated and I think that's good for someone like me. It gives me the ability to have perspective, but when it's time for me to engage or when my soul is hungry for or yearning for engagement, where do I go? And I think it's just like the cheer song. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. So I've convinced a few people in my community to come out and see me out there. I really enjoy it. So I'll be doing that. So Afrotech and uh, TwitchCon are on my list. Um, this year, I'm also super excited um, to be the best man in three weddings. Um, my homeboy, Jay, getting married. Um, I'll be walking him. I'll be not walking him down stage, but I'll be... I'll have his back. When he looks back, he'll have his boy with him. So we're going to do that. That's in April. So April's looking pretty cool. 
then I'm getting ready for my brothers uh, in July. But you know, Juneteenth will be. I'll be out of the country. I didn't think I was going to be out of the country this year, um, but I'm actually going to be out of the country twice this year. I'll be going to Toronto literally next weekend. Um, hopefully, by the time y'all see this, I'll be in Toronto. This has to come out at, but before the end of March, so y'all definitely going to see this. I'll probably edit this tonight. So I'll be out of the country um, twice this year. Uh, Toronto doesn't really count, but like it's still still something to be memorized. Um, People are people. People in my family are fasting. Uh, for all you don't know, I grew up Muslim, but um, people in my family are fasting. I've chosen just to fast on the weekend. This whole being tired and having headaches during my—it's just too much. And Q one's coming to an end, so I got to be on my P's and Q's. Um, since they were doing budgetary constraint, uh, constraints, we are—we can't get the OT that we need to work during the week, and so. Monday is like a super grind set day for me, and I'm going to be like super focused. So I want to kind of get my I want to get good rest this week. All this week, I need to get good rest so I can come out swinging. Like when I don't have good rest, I have shitty work weeks. I took a break from the gym since I hit my PRs. Uh, I was able to hit bench press 450. That was kind of scary to see. I didn't really think I was I needed to be that strong. I was able to hit the 550 on squat. And then I did the 560, 585 twice. I could have done 600. Everybody was cheering me on for it, but I was just like, we're done here. Like, no need. Now I'm like trying to cut weight for the weddings and summertime fine, right? And, you know, just one week of not lifting heavy and eating like super heavy protein diets. Not even one week. I think it's like been three weeks. Because I'm still, like, running at the gym. So, three weeks, I'm basically down 15 pounds. My goal weight is to see if I can get to 300. I'm at 313. I just stepped on the scale before I started recording. 313. Your boy looking good. Your boy is looking good. Summer is going to be great for your boy. So, we got, we got, that's me in a nutshell right now, right? The comic book is being posted. I'm posting daily. We just posted 50, uh, our 50th uh, chapter. Um, we're posting consistently. We love it. Um, book two is about to come to an end. Book three is about to start like real editing and, and like, we're going to have to get back into the habit of story writing again. It's going to be great. Coding has been going great as well. I'm on my 11th project currently. I'm trying my hand in game dev. It's kind of nerve wracking because uh, I really don't know anything about game dev. Um, it's, 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 it's going to test me, but I'm already having fun. My imagination is what gives me the upper hand in this. My imagination and ability to create my content. I'll be able to create the artwork that I want to create so that people can see the stuff that I want them to see. But that's me. That's everything in a nutshell. So, like, the, the real question is, like, you know, what's next? Zarbon Moan. We keep we keep going, we keep um, we keep trying to curtail ourselves to doing the most efficient work possible, and finding that community and being happy as happy as possible. Um, a lot of effort needs to be put into our pleasures. Um, a lot of effort needs to be put into our improvement. Um, so that's why I haven't, I really haven't like wasted any economy on those two things like i'm spending a lot of money right now for the people i love and it's it's gratifying and it's satisfying but we got to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves um you know the things that the little things right the electric toothbrush that you've been trying you've been saying it's the little things you said you want to buy an electric toothbrush it shouldn't take you three weeks when you have amazon prime Literally took me two clicks. I did it before I'm on a stream. Like people, like you, my brother and my uh, homeboy Jay and my other dude who's having his wedding, we're all sitting here like trying to figure out the logistics. But I had to pull out an Excel spreadsheet and just say, fuck it, let's do it. You gotta, sometimes you gotta just put down your, your foot and apply pressure and your friends will appreciate you for it. Um, they didn't bring you along to be part of the problem. There's some people that they bring along because they have to be there. There's some people you bring along because they need to be there. All right. I'm one of those people you go need to be there. And I appreciate that title. I appreciate the I, I, I wear it with a, a pride. Um, 
my neighbor was telling me, you know, just how he was looking for community and how much that meant to him. And, you know, we, we, I was shoveling snow today. Um, if I can remember to get a screenshot of it, I will. But we were shoveling snow today. And I was telling him, I was kind of like telling him, like, you know, it's, these are the bonds. You know, at some point, you got to make new connections. You got to find your, your calling. Um, I'd be hard pressed to rely solely on my family for my social outreach. I think that'd be kind of hard pressed for anybody. So you got to go out there and make your own connections and don't think of them as fillers. Think of them as the main or ordeal. Um, when guys say that they play games with their friends and they, or like for me, take me for example, when I'm streaming to my community. These aren't uh, the little channel name is coding with strangers. But the friends that I've made on there, Grimy, Maddie, Ear, uh, Chris, Nova, all of these people have really developed uh, a mind, uh, like a mind's eye for me. And it's made me very conscious of like how important community is. So like with this chapter coming to a close, I want to just say that like don't take these chance interactions as just fillers. This is this is the main story. You're the main character. There ain't no fillers. This ain't the this ain't Naruto episode 133 out of 400 before Shippuden. Like, go out there and make intentional actions because it will matter. It will count. Um, and that's something to grow on. Clap it. Yeah, I like that. <laughs>